Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Last time we found the missing crusaders and there is a standing stone. Texan had it, when gazing at the stars do not forget to look at what is right in front of you. Okay. Can we loot this? This is probably also not good. This is my kind of work. Orc double X. Masterwork hand X. Masterwork throwing X. Let's collect them all. Pretty good. That's so cool. in this direction. There's a cart. There are some guards. We found the village. Okay. The somber scarred warrior guarding the gates to the settlement almost chokes when he sees you. Stop! Stop, you monster! You've some nerve just showing up outside the walls of Winter Sun like this. Why are you glaring at me? Do you think you can avoid the wrath of the Lady of the Sun? Indian, the talking weapon. Hey! Is that how guests are welcomed in Winter Sun now? I remember you used to be the famed as a most hospitable clan. People used to say visitors to Winter Sun never leave empty-handed. What happened? There may be a war going on, but the spirits won't praise you turning feral on folk. I know nothing about this place. Who are you, and what is this settlement? He will attack. Yeah, let's do this. I found bodies of murdered crusaders at a shrine not far from here. What do you have to say to that? I say you're a lying piece of abyss scum, and I'm going to make you pay for it right now. Okay. Stop, children of Winter Sun. The voice, soft and stirring, is coming from a statue adorning the gates. The final sunset of winter. Unknown creatures spoke with the commander. Stop, do not raise your weapons. Let them pass. This creature is my guest. I shall keep an eye on him. Okay. None can harm the children of Winter Sun within my domain. The warrior's face hardens. What? Let this monster into our village? When we are the last place standing against the demons now that Dresden's fallen? You heard the Lady of the Sun, Dimwit. Let him pass. Okay, Dimwit doesn't, doesn't look like she's a real goddess. So it's a, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's like a Wizard of the Oz plot. What's this demon going to do to us anyway? The Lady of the Sun has protected us all these years, and no abomination from the Abyss has ever captured Winter Sun. 
And it's not going to happen today either. The second guard squints at you grimly. Suddenly you hear a crash and screams from somewhere behind the buildings. Then comes a call of warriors to me. Both guards throw a final speedy look at you before leaving their post and running towards the commotion. Only the wooden idol now remains to watch over the settlement's outskirts. Can we talk to the to the lady of the settlement? So there is something inside going on. There are some kids. There is some loot. Why does that beautiful lady walk with monsters? They will eat her up. Mom, Dad, help. Peasant, peasant, peasant. They're all corrupted. Peasant, peasant. Another peasant. It's too bad the Lady of the Sun only gave us one dragon. I'd love to have a whole herd of them. Okay. Sounds interesting. Peasant, peasant. Loot. More loot. More peasants. God. God. Peasants. Okay. Okay. Looks like a trap to me. No crowding here. Good neighbors, no crowding. The Bao Bao demon holding a pretty flower basket flashes a fatery grin. Poor Dar is not himself. He lost his family in Dresden and has been drowning his grief in wine for a few days. He always picks a fight when he's drunk. And you know what a stone mason's fists are like. He's killed the boy. Cry voices from the crowd. Make way, neighbor. We'll put him in a cellar to sleep it off. Rebo hisses with relish. His hands clench around his weapon, knuckles white. Looks like I'm going to need to have a word with poor Dar. I have a job for the stone mason from Dresden. I need a tombstone made. Ah, yeah, I can remember. This is the, the the demon where we found him, where he tried to kill him. Babao turns around and hisses at the culprit, a huge bather at whose feet a young barbarian is lying covered in blood. I'm so tired of you, neighbor Dar. Go home and stop ruining the fun for the rest of us. What is he doing, hitting the poor flower girl? Dar, wake up. The Lady of the Sun won't have things like this in Winter Sun. Okay. There's a dragon. A corrupted dragon. I guess this could be some kind of what the demon is going on here.
More demons. Marhevok, a tall warrior with dark hair and grey eyes, stands between the humans. Roaring Baylor. He looks the f looks the fiend right in the eye. Are you forgetting where you are? These lands are protected by the Lady of the Sun. Behave or I, Mahivok Grunhuld, will throw you out of my town. Bela Darasand. The Bela's laughter is booming. You really think your beloved beauty can do anything to me? If I wanted to, I could break her neck and yours. And your little worms and the necks of every puny little human in the district. Then I'll pay a visit to the castle in the clouds and clear out every sunny little follower. I'm sick of this game anyway. I'm leaving for now. Okay. Go about your business now. There's nothing to gob at. Warrior bends down and picks up several of the flowers from the basket belonging to the Babo. He notices you and his expression hardens infinitesimally. Ah, a guest of my lady. I'm the chief of, Win of the Winter Sun clan. You can take a look around if you wish, but you must visit me in the clan hall. It would be rude of you not to pay a proper visit to the master while you're in the house. Demons are walking around your town like it's a home away from home. I came here to find out who killed my crusaders. Their bodies are lying at the shrine by the lake. The lady's shrine is sacred to all the children of Winter Sun. If someone has desecrated it with murder, they will be punished. You and all the people of Winter Sun, your auras proclaim your evil deeds. You cannot hide from the Aeon's eye. Why shouldn't I just read the answers out of he you here and now? Yeah, let's let's ask about the demons. In that case, shouldn't thanks be in order, demon? If not for the kindness of the lady, you would have been killed on the spot. Okay, he thinks I'm a demon. You're changing the subject. I'm not used to talking in the middle of the town square. Come to my hall, honored guest. We can speak there. Okay. Let's accept that. Very well. I'll be expecting you. This is interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Peasant, peasant, peasant. So they don't have anything to say. I'm pretty sure about that. There's some loot, no? Yeah. Let's turn back and visit the chief. More peasants. And there is a babao. Hmm. Interesting. There is a peasant who is not corrupted let me tend to your wounds brave warrior you say you were guarding dresden when the demons came ah and now he's corrupted as well no he's not hey friend where are you going okay interesting So there are uncorrupted people in town. But not very much. Not very many. Not very many. So can't speak English.
Peasant, peasant, peasant. All of them corrupted. Ah, uh, Gasmira, a woman with a wealth of long dark hair stands by the statue, clearly touching the wood. Her long fingers slide along the smooth. She's not corrupted. Searching the smooth surface, searching for cracks and scratches. As you approach, the woman startles, tosses her head back, and you see her eyes, sockets are empty and scabbed over like old scars. Who's there, stranger? Don't recognize your footsteps. I'm a guest of the Lady of the Sun. She invited me to visit Winterside. At the mention of the lady, the blind woman's expression relaxes. She shrugs her shoulders and dryly responds. A guest of the Lady of the Sun is the most desirable guest in Winter Sun. What do you want from me? Who are you? What happened to your eyes? My name is Gesmera. I was the senior woodshaper in Winter Sun, a woodcarver of, or sculptor, as you would call it. My level of skill is not bestowed on everyone. We woodshapers do not consider wood to be just a material. We do not make something out of it. We give the wood a new birth. We reveal its beauty in a new form. Okay. I come from an ancient line of craftsmen and women. And I swear that I have done everything to avoid bringing shame to my ancestors' memory. I strove to preserve beauty even in the midst of the chaos, which is what the demons had turned Sakoris into, aided by the traitor Arilu. But one day, my gift failed me. At the request of Marhavok, our clan chief, I was tasked with carving a statue of the Lady of the Sun. But no matter how hard I tried, instead of a beautiful elf, my chisel again and again revealed a hideous monster in the wood. Mavehok flew into a rage when he saw my work. He personally cut out my eyes as punishment, and journeymen were given the task of finishing the statue. The clan did not turn its back on me, of course. The children of Winter Sun do not drive out their own, even those who gave have transgressed before the entire community. They allow me to do simple carvings and to take care of the statues. That is how I have lived since that day. Doesn't sound very nice. Tell me about this settlement. This place was once the capital of the Winter Sun clan. Yes, the capital. The glory days of old Sakoris. Clan controlled vast swaths of land, with several settlements and many farmsteads. But when the accursed Arilu opened the world wound, the clan began to wither like a sapling that's been chopped at the roots. Then the world wound opened even wider, and the blight reached these lands. The children of Winter Sun either died defending their homes or left in search of life elsewhere. In the end, all that was left was this one settlement. Only the toughest, most stubborn people were left, ones who were prepared to survive and defend their land to their last breath. But even they would have perished if not for the Lady of the Sun. Since she came here, demons haven't dared to attack Winter Sun. Life is hard here, the soil is weak, and the animals to hunt you and far between. But it is our home. If we leave our homes and we stop singing our songs, the memory of Sarkoris will die too. Your fellow villagers call me a monster while they themselves converse with me. Tell me about the Lady of the Sun. Mar Havok, the leader of the Winter Sun clan, met her on a hunt many years ago when he was a young man. People say it was love at first sight. The Lady of the Sun left a magical castle in the clouds to live with Mar Havok in a humble hut. The Lady of the Sun is a 
powerful sorceress. She gave Mahavok his hunting weapon and has protected Wintersun against the demons all these years. Ever since she came here, not a single demon has attacked the place. Magic users were feared in Sarkaris in the old days for good reason. If you remember that cursed witch who brought all this chem yeah. Okay. Uh, there's something strange going on in Winter Sun. Your fellow villagers call me a monster while they didn't you know, demons within these walls. That's not possible. The Lady of the Sun promised to protect us. Besides, the settlement has old rune stones that start to flicker when demons approach. Even if the monsters had tricked us somehow by disguising themselves, the stones would have warned us about the danger. And my people... And my people wouldn't be caught dead chatting to our sworn enemies. Okay, interesting. Yeah, let's see. All is at the shrine. That is very strange. The children of Winter Sun are no enemies of the Crusaders. No one would dare sully the Lady of the Shrine's sh Sun's shrine with the blood of allies. Mahabok always keeps the shrine adorned with flowers for the Lady, along with his trophies slain demo demons. Ah, so they tricked him in seeing these people as demons. Help me. Get to the bottom of what's going on in Winter Sun. So we have a plus 23. We will do this. I'm a, I'm taking a huge risk talking to you, stranger. My Havoc's anger is terrifying to be here. But I simply need to know what's happening to my clan. I have to risk it. Listen, stranger. There is something odd happening in Winter Sun. It's true. The Lady of the Sun promised us protection, and demons truly have never attacked the settlement. But there are visitors that come here from the outside. They come often, and they look like crusader merchants from Mendev, scholars from Absalom, or kin of Our Lady from her castle in the clouds. 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 Some of them even live here long term. And every single one of them acts strangely. They talk to us like there's some great joke, and we are not in on it. And sometimes there are rougher types who do something wild. Okay, I've tried broaching the topic with the people I trust, but they either don't believe me or they're afraid to speak openly. Mahavok does not permit any doubts about him or the Lady of the Sun or her guests. And there's something else. Grief wells up to me for quite a few years. Someone in the village goes mad. It's usually one of our guards or hunters who go out on forays to kill demons. They either start weeping, begging for forgiveness, or they attack their neighbors. The clan doesn't turn its back on its children. That's why these mad people are only put outside the settlement's walls. But everyone now believes they are beyond helping. They are mad and angry at the entire world. A secret horror gnaws at the soul of Winter Sun. But I can't see it for, or find out what it is. And I don't know how to help you solve it, friend. All I can give you is this piece of advice. Check our rune stones. They should warn us about demons in the vicinity. And if they are not doing that, then there is some evil at work here. Really? Do you think so? Uh, go straight to Marhavok. He is the only person who has who has been to the castle in the clouds. And he even had a key to it hidden somewhere. He knows more than anyone else. But watch yourself. Mahavok is a mighty warrior, quick to anger and ruthless. The limits of the Lady of the Sun's powers are entirely unknown. Oh, thank you for talking. 
Okay. I think we'll stop here. Peasant, peasant. Peasant, peasant. More peasant. She's not corrupted because she can't see it. More peasants. Peasant, peasant. Map. Okay. Hey, what did you do? Hello? That's interesting. Ah, wait. I know. One of my uh, letters was... Is, is... So you can't go down there. Okay. More peasant, more peasant, more peasant, and another one. Not one of them is a trader. Oh. There are two peasants who are not corrupted yet. My husband killed all these monsters, every single one. And you were the one who told me to marry a potter. Okay. Let's look in the thing. Oh, knowledge arcana, rune stone. There is a rune stone. What a discovery. This rune stone is a fake. It has no power to detect demons. Okay. We'll chiff. So there must be some... Oh. Runestone shows no reaction to Arushale's presence. Ah. Okay. Let's talk to her before we talk to him again. Maybe she has some advice. Tell me about the rune stones again. There are three of them in total, and they were all in the village. They were erected by the great shaman Suana the Wise a, a century ago. The year of the world wound open. They start to flicker when the de when demons are near, but as far as I can remember, the stones have never raised the alarm. Demons have never come near the village thanks to the Lady of the Sun's protection. At least that's what everyone thinks. If you firmly believe that you saw demons within the walls of Winter Sun, find out why the stones are not giving the promised warnings. Okay. So, where are the stones? Can we... There was one. Uh, 
There are also some places. Okay, okay I will stop here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.